this is your girl Layla and welcome to my very first video in YouTube yes guys first time ko mag-upload ng content sa YouTube and I hope that the information I will be sharing today will help you learn new things as well as Mm -hmm. May natutunan din ako sa research ko for this content. So for today's video, guys, sabay-sabay natin alamin kung ano yung warm-up, stretching, at saka yung cool-down. At kung bakit kailangan natin gawin yun bago tayo mag-exercise, lalo na kapag extreme o vigorous exercises ang ating gagawin. So, first up! Physical education dates back to ancient Greece because it was a necessity in training both Greek soldiers and athletes. For children, they began around 7 years old to have them be well skilled in activities like boxing and chariot races. Physical education played a large role in the progression of the Greek society. By the mid-19th century, physical education made its way into the United States. About 1820, when schools focused on gymnastics, hygiene training and care, and development of the human body. So that, guys, was the brief history of physical education. Now, let's proceed to talk about warm-up, stretching, and cool-down. Warming up helps prepare your body for aerobic activity. A warm-up gradually revs up your cardiovascular system by raising your body temperature and increasing blood flow to your muscles. It also helps reduce muscle soreness and lessen your risk of injury. Stretching is a form of physical exercise in which a specific muscle or tendon is deliberately flexed or stretched in order to improve the muscle's felt elasticity and achieve comfortable muscle tone. It keeps the muscles flexible, strong, and healthy, and we need that flexibility to maintain a range of motion in the joints. So a lot of people mistake stretching as warm-up and warm-up as stretching, whereas the two exercises have two main different objectives. So warm-up. The main objective of warm-up is to elevate core temperature and increase blood flow to the muscles, whereas stretching increases flexibility and the range of motions of your joints. Last but not the least, cool down. Cooling down is an easy exercise done after a more intense activity to allow the body to gradually transition to a resting or near resting state. It helps recover pre-exercise heart rate and blood pressure. If you fail to perform cooling down exercises, your muscles will suddenly stop contracting vigorously. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you learned something from the video and stay tuned for more uploads in this channel. I hope you subscribe and hit the like button. Don't forget to stay safe and stay home guys. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you for watching.